We got some stuff we're watching tonight. Tonight is a watching night. Top 10 worst decisions in history. So it's a funny title, but I think it's just like the history knowledge. You know, what's the worst decision in history? Not subbing to Cody. True, I'll steal that from Chad every time. Cause if I say it, it's cringe, but if you say it, it's based. Let's check out the top 10 dumbest game show ideas. Now we've watched a lot of game shows on the stream, but they're mostly reality shows. I wonder, I feel like there's gotta be, there's gotta be some stuff we've Not missed. Not every game show can be a winner. See what we did there? Welcome to Watch Mojo, <laughs> and today we're counting down what? our picks for the top 10 dumbest game show ideas. What's happening there? <laughs> we'll be excluding Japanese game shows, because they are often wild and crazy enough for their own list. It's not a bad idea. Do they have such a list? Awake, the million dollar game. Dude, Netflix Mallory, watch this! Netflix is to your late night office binge with Awake. Contestants count quarters for 24 hours straight before having them compete in several challenges. For some reason, two people are eliminated right away based on how many quarters they counted. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys missed that. You spend 24 hours counting quarters, and whoever counts the least is just eliminated. You don't even get to play. It's just like, yeah, that's that's the end. That's, that's... <laughs> You just spent a day counting quarters and then you go home. The grand prize can only be won if contestants came up with a close estimate of how much money they counted while they were barely awake. $264.56. I forgot this show is very funny. So you count quarters for a day and you have to remember how, how many you counted. And if you don't, you lose. It's pretty Which funny. Which means you're leaving here uh, with nothing money-wise. What could have been a campy game show for- As he finished that sentence. But what an experience. But truly, what an incredible experience you got to go through. Counting quarters for a day and then drinking a Slurpee. No one else could do such a thing. But you will be leaving with psychological damage. Downfall. Do you like senseless property destruction and professional Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho? What the now fuck? Park where Kesha filmed the music video. I've never heard of this. What? On this destructive show, if contestants fail to answer Jericho's questions quickly and correctly, <laughs> their prizes were sent hurtling into the ground below. What the Thumbling fuck? Thumbling baby spike. Beans. Uh, beans. Not the car! Not the car! No, no, no! No! Labor Games has the most specific contestant requirements on this list. First of all, you or your partner must go into labor. Next, you okay. have to get a bed in the maternity ward. <laughs> Lastly, you must wait for a host to pop into your room with trivia questions about parenting while a graphic monitors the mother's contractions. Who would possibly watch that? I literally can't imagine. I don't know who this appeals to. This appeals to the director with a weird fetish. I, yeah, I feel like the, the guy who made this show just got a fuck ton of money. By the way, uh, you guys can't see it because I'm in front of it. This was on TLC, the learning channel. Uh, it's not like Fox or something. Number five, Amnesia. Amnesia tried to stand out with a unique concept. Instead of asking people questions about math or science, contestants had to answer questions based on their life and past experiences. This meant that the average what? viewer could not guess the answers to most of the questions. Yeah, this sucks. Did your team oh score God. that one run? Who the fuck would watch this? This is actually kind of cool. What? How? Why would you at all be interested in just a normal guy's life story? What? Cool idea, bad execution? No! It's not a cool idea! What do you mean? What could this possibly, like, what's the good, what's the joke here? What's the game? How do you get people involved? Chat, what position did I play when I played T-ball? I played Pee Wee Baseball for six years. What position did I play? You don't give a shit! You don't care! Shortstop? No, I fucking hate you guys. I hate- that's it. That's it. You're going away for a while. For a while. No, you're gone. You're- you're- you gotta go for a little bit. That's enough. That's enough out of you. The moment of truth. Hell yeah! Do you know things about your father? 
that you keep secret from your mother. This is so fucked up. In order to win up. money. This show was fucked. And the fucked. questions were brutal. Yes, I do. And yeah. it's all polygraphed, so it might not even be accurate. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? In one of the most controversial episodes, it was hard to find the show entertaining when all the contestants and guests looked like they were on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah! How much money did you win on that show? And for ruining your life, we're gonna give you $10,000! I've been going back and forth on this show. I, like, watching it on stream, because it shows up on YouTube for me sometimes, but I'm like, it can't be fun, right? I feel like watching this show would be, it, it's so, it's gotta be so fucked up, you know? Please don't tell me this next show is about throwing up. It's called Hurl. What else do you think this show could be about? If you had to, if you had to, uh, throwing stuff, I guess. Okay, yeah. Get ready to lose your appetite. Oh, dude. The rules behind you. Skip, 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 shake, shake, shake. I'm skipping Hurl. That's disgusting. I can't believe that ever got on TV. Our sound effects made it clear what- Stop, stop. The contestants were only competing for a measly $1,000. Huh? What the fuck? Cancel our top pick? Man. There are a few dishonorable mentions. Free food and 1K. It's Pay out. Competition show where family Bro, this show sounds funny. Dude, it's just guts for adults. That actually sounds funny. That actually sounds... I'm, let me... I'm putting it on the list. He wants those ones back. She was caught red-handed there. Back in Hair's Crate. Thank you very much. That's going on the list. That is going on... What the fuck is happening on that show? What the fuck happened? Dude, I, I want it. What happened here? Oh, no! Fried carrots, anyone? Oh, He's no! Fried carrots! She was caught red-handed there. What the fuck? In his crate. Thank you very I much. thought that was a mini game, not the whole show. Number one, do you trust your wife? Also known as who do you trust? What? Each man's wife and secretary answered the same questions to see who knew him better. Uh, How many times has your husband been to his secretary's apartment or home? And Kenny, we'll start with you. Uh, if it's a zero, there's going to be a problem. After the host proposed a topic to the husband, the man decided if his wife would be allowed to answer <laughs> or if he'd take the question himself. Current events. I'll trust myself. The show's implication that women are not capable of answering for themselves was ridiculous. What the sexist. Fuck? Current events? Ah, it's not her. She'd have no idea. I don't even know if she knows how to read. That's the whole show? That's the whole show. My wife can only tell the future. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, you've done your time. You've done your time. Come back. Come back. Add it to the list? No, I'm not adding that one to the list. That one doesn't go on the list. I'll be banned from Twitch tomorrow. Welcome to the top 10 WTF Japanese game show moments. Had to do it. Had to do it. These are the peculiar and confusing schemes. Strange and mature content? Why is there a war- Dude, can I watch this? We're getting, this is- Dude, I told you guys that Watch Mojo is a, is a risk, right? I'm braver than the US Marines showing you this content. I could be gone tomorrow. Check first. Nope. Confusing schemes of Japanese television. Let's get in there. Japanese game show moments. I have seen that. It's appropriate for audiences. But I first. Okay. I'm. I'm getting nervous. I don't. i uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, well, well, it was on TV. It was on Japanese TV. That's not the same. Number 10, seeing what happens. Full disclosure, what you're witnessing is not a man contemplating the ultimate karaoke jam, but rather a man receiving an intense hand job. That is part of the viewers. This show makes us <laughs> The first thing? The first thing, the first fucking thing, I was positive she was gonna say it was not that. I was positive she was gonna say that wasn't what it was. I thought she was gonna say she was like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck is number one then? I don't... 
I, I think I'm gonna have to make a judgment call at the start of all of these. It can't get worse now, right? If it looks like he's getting a rub and tug, it's because he is. Yeah, I thought they were gonna say it was okay. Adventurous type, Wait. or think you can at least handle living vicariously through the contestants, then Tore will challenge you both physically and mentally. You get mummified? Our silly got our attention. No way. Players must correctly answer questions within a certain period of time before they are completely turned into a real-time mummy. Let her out! Right for those that they, they let them out, right? What the fuck? What? Jesus Christ! What are the laws in Japan? This one's funny. Candy or not This candy. one's okay. Celebrity contestants pick out household items, give them a taste, and make an educated guess about their true nature. Sure, you may not find some of these phallic- Why not just call it the chocolate guessing show? You should work in marketing. Especially when they're wearing spandex unitards. Doesn't that water look a this little yellow? This looks impossible. Yellow? Given the YouTube success of Brainwall, America have this capitalized America. on the momentum yeah, yeah, yeah. with the 2008 oh, series go. Hole in the Wall, with essentially the same concept and cleaner water. And what do you mean essentially? Oh, this is literally the same. Dude, down. that guy's only crime was being tall. And cleaner Wait. water. He couldn't have won. The game was rigged from the start. See, chat? Maybe tall being tall isn't that great? You ever think of that? Hmm? Being tall has its disadvantages. Might be good to be a little compact. And while the penalties aren't usually extreme, the show what? always makes for a bizarre viewing experience. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck Number is going four, on in Japan? Slippery stairs. <laughs> this is the whole show? This is the whole show? Not the walls of Jericho. <laughs> Contestants must get to the top of a staircase, but let's be real. The primary goal is to survive a violent fall down a flight of soapy stairs. Oh, those There's are really real no stairs. The humiliations are broken their ankles on these slippery stairs. <laughs> but who really cares, right? A good fail is worth everybody's time. <laughs> At least according to this. That looks condition. so painful. That looks so painful. I thought they would be fake stairs. No, I thought they would be like soft stairs. You know, like foamy or I don't know, so, not like plastic. I didn't think it would be, this is like, that's like stone padded or something. Number two, orgasm wars. Nope, absolutely not. That's a skip. Number one. Nope, nope, that does sound pretty crazy watch mojo, but I'd rather not look. I'd rather not take a look. I appreciate you bringing it to my attention but I don't think I'm interested. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest ads that actually aired on TV. For this list, we're looking at the weirdest commercials what is that, that somehow got airtime. Take the fish, you find the top of the spine, then you slide him through the ring on the Wonder Boner, and... Ah! I hate Watch Mojo so fucking much. I hate Watch Mojo so much. I hate this channel. I never know what's gonna happen. It's like family safe for so much of it, and then just out of nowhere that happens. I've never heard of the Wonder Boner. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna cry. I fucking hate Watch Mojo, dude. I hate this so fucking much. We watched Wonder Burner and React Wars? No, we didn't. I would have remembered that. Oh, I don't remember that at all. It got a two? Good. I fucking hate it. The weirdest thing is that it's essentially an erotic fantasy featuring Mr. Clean. Sure. The brand's mascot. Sarah? Clean enough? <laughs> Fat husband. <laughs> He's not sexy like Mr. Clean. Sponge monkeys. Quiznos. These things were the everywhere. They were quickly these things were Quiznos. everywhere, dude. Atriarch told me these did very well. Very well? You think? I don't. Listen, he probably has the figures more than I do. I can tell you, public perception hated these motherfuckers. And obviously, if people talking, that's good, especially before the internet was as, like, the way that it is now. It's not like we had Twitter back then to bitch about them. But good fucking God, these got, these things were everywhere. Quiznos paid in the end, though. Like, uh, karma, you know? 
There's a reason they're not around anymore. Today it just comes across as a company trying to use an internet meme to look cool, which never works. Never? Has it ever worked? I feel like it has. It probably has happened at Szechuan Sauce. Boom. Good shit. Number eight, Puppy Monkey Baby. I never Mountain saw this Kickstart. one. I never saw it because I don't watch TV. Hybrid. The guys are much less weirded out than the viewers, abandoning their plans for a quiet night in and following the Puppy Monkey Baby out of the apartment. Perhaps three awesome things combined is a few too many? Listen, I'm a content creator. Sometimes there's no way to know if the idea is bad until you do it. I have sympathy for Mountain Dew. It most certainly did not land. I mean, dude, this was in 2016. Like, this was the era when shit like this was popping. This Xbox ad was so controversial, it wound up getting banned in the UK. But during its time on air, it sure made an impression. Pfft, die! Holy shit, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Childbirth so powerful that the baby is launched out of the window like a missile. <laughs> <laughs> this ad rules! Screaming naked and aging rapidly, the boy becomes a man, and then an old man, what the crashing fuck? down into a grave. It's Holy a shit! Image, but for the takeaway to be that you should play more video games, true! <laughs> ah. Holy fucking shit! This ad rules! That's an amazing ad. What do you mean cringy? That's a great ad. I, dude, I might have bought an Xbox if I saw this one. For real. This would have inspired faith in me to go to Team Microsoft. Truly. It is cringe. You're cringe. Okay? It's not cringe. How is that cringe? What is cringe about this? <laughs> play video game. What the fuck? He didn't even get a chance to play video games. He never even saw a television. Cat band, Crusha, Photoshop, Never seen this. and dancing animals. I don't but know what this, this time, is. They're cats. The choice to feature cats in a milkshake advert doesn't really make sense. Since adult cats are lactose intolerant. Watch Mojo pisses me off. Using cats doesn't make sense. Um, cause cats actually can't drink milk. So Number five, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Kinder. Get ready to never sleep again. In this 80s ad for Kinder Surprise, a grotesque animatronic <laughs> version of Humpty Dumpty tries to tell us about the exciting toys available inside Kinder Eggs. Please do! Chuck a doobie! Dumpty Chuck a doobie! But he's speaking nonsense the whole time. He doesn't speak English? I feel like this is way worse, the fact that if him and I were to meet, we would not be able to understand each other, and then a miscommunication could arise, he could consider me a threat. It's cute. He looks like he would... His first instinct is violence. Oh, he wanted to die. He said, I'm, I'm going now, bye. Whee! You know? Celebrity endorsements what? are almost always a little bit cringy, but seldom as much as this weird ad for a local bakery chain featuring Major League player Hunter Pence. It's also notable for showing him using bread in a way nobody has ever used bread, like as a paddle while he rows, <sighs> as a way cares? to measure his socks, and as weights. Strange that they missed the opportunity to have him use a baguette as a baseball bat, though. Like oh, they don't do that? Yeah, I guess that was too yeah, obvious. Look. I think the producer got a little too artsy with that one. He didn't want to... <laughs> That's the low-hanging, you know? He's got to come up with better stuff. I'm the cash man, Oliver Jewelry. Coming that guy's me. rich. Russell, cash man, Oliver, I pay more cash for your used jewelry than anyone. Oh, yeah. I love Such this it. guy. Hello. Hi. I'm Russell Oliver, and I buy your used jewelry. If you have gold rings, gold earrings, I'll give you cash. Oh. If you have diamonds, bring them to me. I'll give you cash. Oh. I love gold. Bring me your old gold, and I'll give you cash. He sounds like, <laughs> he sounds like an NPC. He sounds like he has a quest line. He, he, this is just the guy that just sits in the village. Bring him vendor trash, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the cash man. The dancers are a is lot more the same enthusiastic ad? than all. Give you money for your gold. Oh, yeah. He seems kind of cool to me. I would trust him with my gold. Cody, the moment he logs off. This is me. <laughs> This isn't me when on a particularly good whale night. You know? I just I, I pull on a book on the bookshelf and all the dancing girls come out and I have a little party for myself. Number one, Hershey's Kisses Holiday Ed. Who would think a bunch of Hershey's Kisses could actually make any noise? 
if you've ever had a Hershey's Kiss before, you know there aren't any <laughs> bells inside of one. So it makes you wonder what they were thinking. It's funny how you can write for Watch Mojo by accident. You, like, you could just, it's so easy, dude. It's such a machine, you know? Your training dance, you make me so proud. Your potty feels like magic, then it flushes I, out loud. I don't want to see the P. I don't want to see the P. This was fine up until this part. Why did you pause here? No, good call. Well, I don't think there's a good frame to pause on on this commercial. There, ooh, geez, the toilet's still there. There are a lot of peeing baby toys, which is fine because you're trying to teach your 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 baby stuff. Like Mal and I just bought a baby uh, for um, we just bought a baby doll for Julia. Okay, we just bought a baby doll. We just bought a baby doll, and like a lot of them have like peeing action, and the goal is to like teach them how to use the potty. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just showing the pee, and she is enraptured. Oh, man. Squirt! 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 Play up beer, squirt! Stop. Hot yoga squirt! Stop! Stop! I am on the verge of losing my entire career tonight. I- I'm- this is so frustrating. Okay. What's number one? I'm honestly wondering. Cringiest ad of all time. Kendall Jenner? Maybe. No, Baby Mr. Peanut? No, hold on. Baby Mr. Peanut was good. I liked Baby Mr. Peanut. Fuck you guys. I liked Baby Mr. Peanut. That was fine. It was fine. Shut up. Shut up. It was fine. He was cute. Shut up. Number one, Baby Soft Love Cosmetics. Even... Do I watch this? Oh, I, I already know where this is going. No, I already know where this is going. I already know that I know where I know the answer. I know where this goes. Okay. That's it. No, I'm not watching the rest. No, I am skipping. I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. No. No. <laughs> no. No. We're done. We're done. Okay. Where's Doki Doki? I'm not gonna play that game. We both know I'm not gonna play that game. No. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This won't work. I'm gonna hit, watch this, you ready? Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, right, right? Boom, I'm not playing that shit. Absolutely not. Never ever. I don't care how much money you give me. We will never play an anime game. No, not me. Get that shit out of my inbox. Counter. Not me. It's not happening. No. 